Now, the, one of the things we are fighting for is to stop extrajudicial killings, killing people outside the law. And the NRM is very strict on that. Even when mistakes occur, we follow them up. Like, for instance, during these elections which Bishop Simogere was talking about, there were mistakes. The opposition made mistakes by being violent, by intimidation, attacks, attacking people, attacking people because they are putting you on yellow. You had uh, Kabandwa, Kabandwa, the, the secretary of Haisedunga uh, was reading there that people were being attacked. And even Hagi Serunga said that some people didn't even vote because of the intimidation. It was in his speech there, and that's the truth. Now, this, was, this of course was a miscalculation because I can tell you, if you have got ears to hear, that nobody can defeat the NRM by force. If you bring force, then you are you are on the you are in the wrong on the wrong arena because we have a lot of capacity to deal with with force. So this is a miscalculation, and those who who, who encourage the opposition to take that line are misleaders. Of course, they are, they are acting unconstitutionally because there's no need to use force in Uganda now. Because you can vote. Why do you use force? Vote. In some areas, NRM did not win. Opposition won in some areas. So why did we not stop those opposition from winning? We had candidates, but some other groups won. So there's no need to use force. But some people think they can use force and uproot the NRM. It will not happen. That's a wrong line. And also to think that you can use insecurity, like recently when they killed a, a girl of, of Katumba, the daughter, and um, a driver. That will not bring down the NRM. You can be sure about that. What will happen is that we shall mobilize and react, and we shall defeat you, like we did in the past. So it's just a waste of time. But the mistakes on the NRM side is sometimes to overreact. Partly because of poor leadership in some of these groups, you find the soldiers are not well briefed. They just go into a situation with, without proper briefing. But the law is very clear. We have put it in the law. The procedures are very clear. 
the standing orders are very clear how to handle the different types of troublemakers. If they are peaceful but lawbreakers in an illegal demonstration, there is how to handle it. There, you use non-lethal non methods, which are there. Tear gas, water cannon, those are there. They don't kill, they, they discourage and somebody goes away. If somebody becomes violent and goes threatening the lives of the, the security people, there is also a procedure. In some cases, mistakes happen. Some of them don't follow that procedure and make mistakes. Fire when they should not fire. But what I want to everybody who is honest, because I, I don't mind about the dishonest people, anybody who is honest knows that we, a government I lead, cannot condone that action. When such some, something like that happens, we follow up case by case. And I have the files of all the 54 people who died in, in that problem of 18th of, of, of November, I think it was, 18th, 19th. And where the security forces made mistakes, we discovered it. The first thing I did was to hold seminars of those people. You must have seen on the, on the, on the, on the media how I met the, all the commanders of the special forces. I met all the police uh, commanders in the whole country to review the actions and the mistakes, but also follow up the families of the affected people. Like, for instance, many of the people who were arrested were released and even, even supported. So, therefore, I want to assure Ugandans that there is no way we can tolerate and condone impunity of wrongdoing. Anybody who says uh, to the contrary, uh, uh, they can say what they want, but they are wrong. Now, on security, as I said, nobody can destroy the NRM by, by, by war because they tried and failed. And our capacity is now much greater than ever before. Secondly, insecurity, thinking that you can kill people, and because you are killing people, the, because some of these groups plan like that. Let's kill people, target people. In fact, we have warned some of the opposition people. You find people sit somewhere and say, let's go and kill somebody from the opposition so that people think it is the government which is killing, killing them. And in that way, they would hate the government. Well, we are going to defeat that effort also because the provocation would lead to counteraction and in the end, you will lose. So I, 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 I totally agree with the Bishop Semogeria that the elections are now over. So it's better people, and me, I'm already, I've met some, even some of the opposition, I meet them, and we discuss. And uh, we advise them. They can also advise us. The only problem are, the, are, are some who, who don't want to discuss and they think they will impose their, their views on us, which will not, of course, happen.